In our previous video, we explored how to use solid colors in Tailwind CSS for page backgrounds, text and other elements. In this video, we will dive into creating beautiful gradient backgrounds. We will also learn how to apply these gradients to buttons, change their colors on hover and even style text with gradients. Let's start with creating gradient backgrounds. To create a gradient background in Telvin CSS, you commonly use these three utility classes together. Let's break it down. BG hyphen gradient hyphen to hyphen direction. This specifies the direction of the gradient. Telvin supports directions like top, right, bottom, left, and their combinations such as top right, bottom right, bottom left, and top left. Then the second class from color and shade. This is the starting color of the gradient and the two color is the ending color of the gradient. Now let's see how we can use this. Here I am in a blank HTML and Tailwind project. Let's apply a gradient background to the body. So I'll go to my index.html and here is the body. Let me collapse the sidebar. So for the body, I'll apply the gradient. Let's see before how it looks. So this is the output as of now. Now I'll add BG gradient to and then we have the eight directions that I told. So I would use uh, bottom right. And then we have to give a from color. So from rows and then the shade number and then again to the color and the shade number now if i save this is how it looks let's change the text color to look better Now with Tailwind CSS, you can also add another color between the from and to colors that is using the via utility class. So here you can add via and you can add another color here. Now the placement is not strict. It doesn't have to be between the from and to. You can add this anywhere and it will still work. So let's save it and you can see now we have a sky color in the middle. It's starting from rose in middle it's sky and it's ending with indigo. Keep in mind that if you only specify two without the from the gradient will not work. If you want only the two color then you have to use a transparent color for that so that there is this from utility class always present. For example, I'll remove the from and via. So if you use only two, normally you would expect that it will end with two, but it doesn't have any gradient at all. So in those cases, you have to add from and then you can use your default background color or you can just use transparent. So now it works. As you can see now it's starting from transparent and then it's ending at indigo color. You can even set the position of each color on this gradient by using the from and to values, not the from color classes. There is another class where you specify the percentage of the position of each color. So let's add our from and to classes. So we have the gradient that we had earlier. Now we will specify the percentages mentioning where each color should start in that gradient line. So rows, I want it to start from exactly 25%. So 25%. And then the sky may be uh, 60%. And then the indigo color up to 
90 percent let me save this and now you can see the same colors but they are aligned differently based on the positions that we have given the gradient starts at 25 percent with the rose color transitioning to the sky color at 60 percent and then ends with indigo at 90 percent to explain this in a detailed way the gradient uh, that is starting at 25 percent with rose means the rose color is fully applied at 25 percent and from 25 percent to 60 percent it is transitioning from this area and here at 60 percent the sky color is fully applied and again from the 60 percent to 90 percent this area it is transitioning and at 90 percent it's fully indigo so that's what these uh, numbers mean the percentages the positions that we are giving and uh, tailwind css also offers these gradient color stop positions in steps of five from zero to hundred as you might have noticed earlier you type zero you can see that it's starting from zero to hundred of course the five is not included there you can type five and you can see 55 percent five percent maybe 15 percent like this but if you want to use a custom gradient stop you can define them directly in the elements class using square brackets like for example here you can make this a square bracket and mention 27 for example and it would still work you may not notice the difference here because it's just two percent let me change it to two percent now you can see the difference you can directly add a custom percentage here otherwise in the tailwind config file here you can specifically mention if you want to have multiple color stops then you can mention all of them here and then use it in the index.html so let me add two for example so the property name is gradient color stop positions And here on the left side you give the name that you want to use in the class i'll try to keep it similar to tailwind's default system and on the right side you will give the value of the percentage that the color should actually transition Now in this left side, that's your preference. You can keep maybe just 33 or probably one third. I kept it at 33%, but you can use any other notation that you prefer. I'll save it. And now in the index.html, as soon as you type from and then three, you can see that along with the default tailwinds classes 30 and 35 percent you can now see that 33 percent that you have created so that's how you create the custom gradient color stops and you can see that it is applied as well now let's create a button with a gradient background and we will change the color of that gradient on hover I'll remove these gradient colors from the background and I'll also remove the white text because it's white background now, the default one. I'll add flex column here and I'll add the button on top of the heading. I'll add subscribe. I'll style this button before adding the gradients. I'll give a padding on y direction 2 and then x direction 6. We will cover these other styling classes that I'm using in detail when we come to that chapter. For now, I'm just uh, doing that for demo purpose. Now we will add the gradient. So I'll use 
to right and then put the from color would be pink and then two color would be a uh, sky let's save this and let's add some gap between the button and this heading so i'll add a margin bottom of eight and you can see that we have this button now let's change the text color as well so text would be white i'll make it uh, bold and also the size a bit more to excel okay now i'm fine with this so we have this gradient background button now what we want to do is on hover we want to change the color so what we have to do is add the hover state class so on hover i want the pink color to change uh, to green so i would use the same class from but i'll give a different color same goes with the two color we'll add a hover state and then two maybe yellow now if you see when i hover it's changing the color we can even change the direction on hover so i'll add hover instead of left to right i'll add right to left so bajin bg gradient to left i'll save and now if i start hovering you can see that the green is starting from the right and ending at the left we have given the from color green and to color yellow but the direction is towards the left so that's why it's starting from the right and ending at the left and if you don't want to change this color suddenly you can add some uh, animation properties to this like the transition properties that will slowly change the color but we will cover that when we come to that section finally let's create a gradient text effect the idea behind this is that we create a background gradient and then we clip the text means when we use that particular utility called bg clip text it clips the background to the text means wherever there is the text the background appears only there and it is removed from its default position and then we make the text color transparent so that the background appears as if it is on the text let's see what i mean so now we have this button let's increase the size of this maybe 6xl and this is how it looks but now let's change the background first So this is how it looks now let's add the utility called bg clip text and now if you see the background is gone because it is clipping to the text means the background exists exactly behind this text content but now we have the text color white that's why it is not appearing so if you make the text transparent now that background appears as if it is on the text color so that's how you create a gradient text effect and that's it for gradients in our next video we will explore how to set an image as a background stay tuned and i'll see you there